Grand Rising, Grand Rising. It is day six of my 254 day challenge. Took me a minute to um, log on today. Um, feeling, I don't know, my emotions are all over the place. <laughs> oh Lord. Guess what my scripture is for today. And I don't select these. I use the Bible app and I just open up whatever the scripture is for the day. That's my scripture that I meditate on for the day. Can you believe my scripture for the day is Ephesians 6 verses 2 to 3. Children and parents. <laughs> The Lord is so humorous. I love the Lord. Oh, I so love the Lord. As you journey with me, you will see as I talk, as I speak on things and how the Lord brings things to me and have me where finding my way. This has been my life. This has been my life. So today, I instantly felt the whip on me and so it's like oh god help me never do i want to in any way dishonor my mom um I, I guess i lay more on my mother than i do my father but my father doesn't get a pass either um and me stating this i just hope that You know, someone who may, may not have kids or young parents, you know, mother, father, if you happen to stumble across this video and you have little ones, you know, um, you were given a gift. Those children are gifts to you from the Lord. It says that in Psalms 127.3. You are to be a steward. You are a steward over that gift. So you protect and you care for that gift. It amazes me as, as a letter carrier. I'm a letter carrier. The other day I was delivering mail and a customer left a wreath like, um, you know, the kind you hang on your door during the Christmas holidays or whatever. I, I, I don't know, but it, it has little like acorns and little things that the birds use when they're building their nest. And so just, it seemed like the nest was built overnight because I, 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 I just had delivered mail there the day or two before and I didn't, I wasn't aware of the nest. So the other day, I'm getting ready to approach, and I see this bird take off. And I'm like, whoo, which made me really look. And so as I looked, I saw that very beautiful bird's nest built inside of this reef right at the mailbox. So, of course, I couldn't go up there because the birds think we fear the dogs. I'd rather deal with the dog than the bird because... Uh, I actually, the same day, I saw a bird attack a squirrel. I don't know what the squirrel did, but that bird was Adam, like Adam, Adam, until the squirrel went up under a car and like hid up under the car. But I say this to say how those birds are so protective over those nests, you know, and then we as humans, you know, our seeds, you know, the the creation, you know, the little humans that we bring into the world. You know, I love my babies. And I know I'm not saying that my mom didn't love me. I know my mother loved me. Um, it's just um me and going through my healing and getting an understanding and hoping, you know, um, 
someone can take something from this and maybe cure on their, theirs, you know, better. We don't know, well, these days there are plenty of parenting books, you know, if you could just have the, uh, what we say in Strengthening Families, asking for help is a sign of strength. It really is. Yes, asking for help is a sign of strength. You know, um, also in that scripture, in the King James Version, the word nurture, which is actually one of the strengthening family's protective factors, nurturing and attachment. So the lack of that, you know, it's really harmful to a child. Which brings me to another protective factor, knowledge of parenting and child development. It's cool to ask for help, you know, and like I talked to, I, I talked about previously, um, those social connections, building relationships um, so that you can have concrete support in time of need. Uh, which builds resilience and oh thank you lord um my it's just been my will to live my will to live um to where i am today because um i could be further along today um i could be dead today and so i do give thanks to my mother um because <sighs> You know, I do give credit for who I am today. Um, in that, um, listen to this. This is what gets. This is what gets me. I dropped out of high school too. I did. I did. I dropped out of high school. But I did go back. I went back and I now hold three degrees. I have an associate's degree in information technology. I have a bachelor's degree in business, e-business. And I have an MBA with a concentration in marketing. Yes. My will to live. Not only that, just wanting to make my mother proud. You know, um the respect i honor and respect and i love my mom you know like that like that uh air thomas said 
certain things you wouldn't do in front of your grandmother or your mother still to this day you know there's certain things i won't do or say you know in the presence of my mom or my grandmother um back to the scripture today ephesians 6 verses 2 to 3 we all know honor thy mother and father so that our days would be long I've held on to that as well. It's also scripture four, where it talks to the parents about not angering your child or bringing your child to wrath and teaching them and training them up in the Lord. And we know, you know, the benefit of that. You know, if you don't know, study, study, study and get approved I believe that I am approved but I walk in truth and honesty which upsets a lot of people a lot of people there's growth that's going to be able to come from this so I'm only on the sixth day I got a lot more to go Thank you for joining me thus far. Like, subscribe, share, help me build my following. This is intentional. God bless. Have a great day.